Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. We will begin the grade 9 term 2 revision videos for the end of term exam. Before we begin, I will quickly go through the end of term exam scheme. And this term, the ter in the term 2, there are three parts in your exam, part 1, part 2 and part 3. The first two parts will be MCQs and assistant computer. Whereas the last part will be in writing. You need to do all the steps and write and solve them up. So the part one and part two have 10 questions. But the part one, each question carry only three marks, whereas the part two carries five mark. So the difference over here is these are supposed to be, the part one questions are supposed to be much easier comparatively. And the part two questions are, easy itself but a little bit lengthier you can say so you need to uh, all of these will be in mcqs so you need to make sure you can use any methods because the write-up is not involved so you can use shortcut methods calculator methods any of it's fine but you need to get the correct answer whereas the part three three questions are mentioned over here will be in writing you need to write each and every step in detail which will be shown in the revision videos and the last two bonus questions will be added in the part three for writing. Now, before we begin, I will just quickly, I'll just remind you that uh, the part one and part two, I'll be discussing shortcut methods or simpler methods just to get the answer. The detailed methods were thought, taught throughout the term. So we, I will just quickly tell you some hints or methods so that you can easily get to the answer. The last part will be explained in detail. So moving on to the first topic here, it's about consistent and inconsistent systems. So there'll be graphs given for us and we must know which systems are what exactly. So now, before we begin, let us understand if the two lines, the graph, as a, as a solution, say if they're touching over here, anyway, see these are, these are two lines, you can see red and blue, but they are same line they are both having the same equation so it might be say 2x plus 3 and again you have 4x plus 6 y equals 2x y equals now over here sorry that should be 2y equals 4x now you can see that these both are the same equations why because over here it's a multiple of this so if i remove the two common out or divide both the sides by 2, I'm going to get y equals 2x plus 6. So this means, the, sorry, 2x plus 3, my bad. Now this means these, both the equations, though they may look different, they're actually the same equation. So what happens is, you basically will have just a single line. They will be touching. And you will have infinite solution. That means every point in these lines are solution. Whereas over here, it only touches at one point. And obviously, if two lines will never touch each other, then there is no solution. That is, parallel lines will never touch each other. So now, these are the three cases. So, to fire, uh, so if at all, if it touches, it is called consistent system. Consistent. Now, consistent means you're having solutions. But if it's just a single solution, you call it independent. It depends because they are only touching once and then they are not dependent of each other. Whereas over here, it's the same line that dependent of each other. So it's consistent and dependent. Over here, it's just inconsistent. There's no dependent or independent. It's just inconsistent because it has no solution. It's parallel lines. Over here, there are infinite solution because they are the same line. And over here, in the first case, the consistent and dependent is only one solution and intersects at only one point. Now, here are the questions over here are mentioned. It's example one and two. This is the question given. You have been given equation and the graphs. Now, looking at this, you can easily find out that this is touching once. So, if you re remember and recall, this is having this is a consistent system. Since it's only one solution, it is dependent. Uh, sorry, independent. This, this system is consistent and independent. So just recall these three uh, these three conditions because anything can be asked. And now um, over here also you can see 
they, they are not gonna they're not touching because they're parallel lines and another easy way to understand parallel lines is when it is in the slope intercept form the slopes will be same only the y intercepts are different whenever the slopes are same and the y intercepts are different you understand that's a parallel line if at all the intercepts also were same imagine it was plus two then it would be the same line it would be the same line it would be in finite solutions but over here you can see the slope half x and half x is same but the y intercepts are different so it is inconsistent so this is how we can easily solve this type of top uh, this type of problems